Okay, first off, I got this bike in and it was like almost fully assembled. It was very easy to put together. There was almost no issues at all on anything. It was packaged perfectly. And one thing that I had to do, I had to put the pedals on and I think I had to put the seat and handlebars, but other than that, it was ready to go. I had this thing ready to go in a matter of like minutes almost. They had all the tools you needed. They had a owner's manual and they had some little reflectors and things like that, but I didn't even bother putting those things on there because this has a headlight and a tail light, so I'm not worried about that. I do have the owner's manual here because the owner manual has all the specs on this thing and this is the specs from the manufacturer. Actually, let's just go ahead and get into the specs now. So we'll go ahead and start with the battery. The battery on this thing, actually it's just written right here. It's a 48 volt. 15 amp hour 720 watt battery this is a lithium ion battery it is a removable battery so you can take that on and off you can charge it on the bike right here you know i like that they actually put a finger going right to it you can charge it right there but you can also with these keys take it off and you can mash the top of it and it has an indicator light on it right there pretty good battery the overall weight on this bike about 75 to 60 pounds depending on the bike and i think that's fair for this i picked this thing up. I mean, all e-bikes are heavy. That's just how it goes. Top speed on this thing is 20 miles per hour. I had it. It's actually capped right at 20 miles, which I think makes it a class two. 20 mile per hour bike which is pretty standard on these bikes i had did not see a way of unlocking it i did go into the settings and look around but i think this thing is capped at 20 miles an hour which to me that's the speed limit out here on all the trails where i live so i've got no issues with doing 20 miles per hour and as far as range on the bike around about 25 to 35 is about realistic 70 seems pretty optimistic but you know what i get it that's what they do so expect to get around about i'm just going to say between 30 and 40 miles on just normal everyday riding on a pedal assist one the motor on this thing is a 750 watt 48 volt battery i mean motor hub driven motor in the back it doesn't have a name on it but it seems to have a lot of power and i've been really impressed with this it's the bottom end torque is really nice on this thing and because it tops out at 20 it holds at 20 miles per hour pretty easy the incline they're saying they're doing a max incline of 25 degrees and that's a very fair on this i've had it on steeper inclines seems to handle it i'm right at about 175 180 and it seems to handle those steeper inclines okay so there's a quick rundown of the specs let me go ahead and start back here at the back tire and just kind of walk my way through this bike these are 20 by 3 inch tires and what's that means that's three inches thick here a lot of fat tire bikes will be four inches i think a 20 by 3 is a good compromise for speed and kind of like comfort as far as riding this is one of the better sizes for a 20 inch bike a uh, four inch just gets a little too wide i like the four inch tires the fat tire bikes when they get up to 29 or 26 i think they're great for that 20 this is perfect for this that's a metal fender everybody very impressive <laughs> they have a metal fender on there it's got a seven speed transmission so it's a shifting kind of seven speed and it is the tourney shimano tourney tz which is a pretty good shifter 160 millimeter rotors with with a mechanical disc brakes but the mechanical disc brakes on a bike of this size that goes this speed i see no issue with that comes with a little kickstand right here this is the removable battery you can remove this you turn it off and you slide this out very easy to slide in and out and to turn this on you want to go all the way to the on position so there's several that's unlock and remove that's off and then that's on right there this key has to you have to have a key in it to run this bike because you can't take this out see how i can remove it on off now the bike will not work now it's locked in and it will work so this has to have a key to make it work pedals on this is just basic uh plastic pedals that's a very short kind of like crank arm there you can see that how very short that is which i'll get into that on the seat and in relation to this pedal here in a minute moving on to the seat actually it's got a shock absorber built into the seat and this seat lifts up you're going to lift that and then that just pops up like that and the reason you do that is so you can take the battery out the seat was decent um, it has a relief in the middle it's a very cushiony seat but i think it could be a little more firmer moving on to the middle here you know you got a handle right here and this handles for the folding feature and i'll show you the folding feature right here and then you got a folding feature on the handlebars and it makes this thing and it compacts this thing down very tightly to put in a back seat of a car a van or something like that maybe even a truck 
or you could just leave it like this and just run it like normal also you can see right here this is a step through design which means the actual height here is usually around about a foot and a half so it'd be easy to step in and out of cord management could be a little better it's just ran down the bottom of the frame it is zip tied up and twisted nicely i'd like to see it ran inside the frame but you know what for this price point, I think that's fine. It has a non-adjustable kind of spring-loaded shock in the front and a shock in the seat. And for what this bike is, I think that's perfect. Actually, that's exactly what you'd need. Uh, metal fenders in the front, 160 millimeter rotors with a mechanical disc brakes in the front also. Little small headlight right here. These headlights work just fine, but I always recommend getting an aftermarket headlight for any of these e-bikes. So moving on up here to the handlebars. Let me go over the handlebars for y'all. Phone mount does not come with it this is the bova max i think it's the name of this handlebar this uh phone mount i like that phone mount a lot there's an adjustment right there to make the stem go up and down there's an adjustment right here to turn it in and out which is kind of good when you think of a bike of this price point how many adjustments is on this thing it's got the ergo hand grips on it they are kind of rubberized ergo hand grip it's got a built-in integrated bell right there not the biggest fan of a bell i like a horn but you know what I like these integrated bells. I, that's a smart idea to integrate it in. It keeps this area opened up right here for your shifter. It's got the Shimano thumb shifter. This is downshift and that's upshift. So easily accessible where my hand is. A half twist throttle, not a full twist throttle. Okay, it's got a kind of a basic little display. Let me go ahead. This is the S866, which is a kind of a common display on a lot of these more affordable e-bikes. Oh, by the way, make sure you turn your key to the on position. It will not work in the off position so it needs to be completely vertical just like that so as soon as you turn it on you see you got speedometer you got uh, what assist mode it's in you got your battery indicator and you got your odometer and then you go over here you hit that you can go your trip your voltage so it's 49 volts that's how much is left in the battery your time see how it's doing the countdown and then back to odometer so then you got a plus and minus here. You can go into some settings using the plus and minus, but I'll let you guys figure that out for yourself. So right now it's on zero and it's basically no throttle and it's just a normal bike. Turn the walk mode on, you'll hold down the minus and watch it starts taking off by itself. See that? So it's a walk mode. And to turn the headlight on, hold the plus down. Right there's the headlight. Or the tail light gets brighter as you mash the brake see that i'm mashing the brake so pretty good on that i like the fact that they did a tail light so yeah that's pretty much it as far as the specs and walk through let me go ahead and put this to a quick ride test and then we'll come back here and i'll give you kind of my final thoughts on this bike and so let's do the ride test now okay here we are let's go ahead let's start the on trail test turn the key on right there and the app, a lot of people ask me about the app I use. It's called the Speedometer app. So the first thing I'm going to do for y'all is I'm just going to use it as a normal bike. I'm in gear seven. Let's go ahead and put it in gear one. This is just a bike. So using it as a normal bike, I can shift easily. Let's go ahead and up shift to, I like to stay in four. Gear four, just normal riding. 11 speed on is pretty spot on gear seven you know what i mean it rides like a normal bike it's got these three inch tires instead of four inch tires so they roll they have a better rolling resistance to them and i like that a little more than a four inch tires for trails and then stopping obviously stopping is pretty good let's go in pedal assist one pedal assist one now this is a cadence sensor not a torque sensor so that doesn't mean so what it does three three rotations i feel the power i'm going to go up one to five there's the power pedal assist one nine miles per hour ten pretty consistent going over these bumps front shock shock in the seat technically a full suspension technically use quotations on that we could pretty much call it at pedal assist one this only has three by the way so one i'm getting nine to ten miles an hour let's go ahead and hit two whoa two as soon as you hit two i'm going to go to seven as soon as you hit two i felt the power drastic difference between one and two i think we could call pedal assist two you know what it seems like two's the best 
it kind of gives you the mix of power and speed, but not in, nothing crazy. So 15, let's just call it 15 on pedal assist two. Okay, pedal assist three. Let's see what it does right here. Full speed. Pedal assist three with 20, 23. Whoa, you're telling me, look at that everybody. The speedometer, well, I guess it's leveling back off. Okay, I sped up. Okay, the speedometer's matching my GPS. There for a minute, I thought I was gonna hold 25. It looks like I uh, uh, spiked up and then lowered back down. Okay, the power kicks in on three after 15. 20 miles per hour, pretty easy. And try to send it. I want to send it off of that curb. <laughs> <laughs> the shocks work okay there's a little kind of back trail right here let's do some off-road action I, I would say this is the extent of the mountain biking you want to do with this bike I wouldn't want to go anything crazier than this I like this trail because it gives you a little bit of mountain biking but nothing this is not what I consider extreme mountain biking by no means How about this? Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, 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 God. There we go. Not too bad. You know, I handled that really well. There's one, two, three pedal assist and some off-road action. How about that? I gave you all a little bit of off-road action. A little bouncy, but it seemed to work just fine. All right, now let's do throttle only. Nice kick off the line. It has a good little low end torque. And just so y'all know, the controller is matched to whatever assist you're in. So look, I'm throttle only, legs are not moving. I'm on nine. Let me show you a secret feature though. Hold the minus button down. Watch this. See that P that comes up right there? Check that out. I'm in cruise control. I've got no throttle. I'm using no throttle, no pedaling. So I can just sit here and ride with this pretty easy. And to get out of cruise, what you want to do is either hit the brake or the throttle. It'll take you out of cruise. Put it back in cruise. Let's go throttle only three. Now I'm in max. I'm going to get to a complete stop right here. Get up here because it's going to probably go a little faster. This is a bike lane, by the way. This road is considered a bike lane. Not pedaling at all. There we go. Here we go, laying on it. Oh boy, it's actually got a little bit of torque on it. 19, 20 on the money. They match really easily, 19, 20 miles an hour. That's holding 19 easy. Push the cruise on. We got cruise control at 19 miles an hour. That's, wor that's working really well. Even if you start pedaling with the cruise on, you ghost pedal this thing at 20, so you can't go any faster. You see that? I'm just ghost pedaling right now. There's nothing. And it's because of the size of that sprocket. I like this the cruise control, by the way, everybody. This is not an easy incline. I'm gonna do throttle only on this incline, and it's probably 15% in its highest point right here. Wow, that's holding it really well. Can I do this without slowing down? Do a little foot drag. Very impressive. Everybody, this has a lot of torque. Woo hoo! <laughs> Luckily, I'm pretty good at that kind of stuff or a lot of people had wiped out right there. That's nice. It, it took me right up that hill. And like I said, this is no small hill. The camera doesn't do it justice. Come to a stop here because this is a used road. Okay, there it was, everybody. There's the speed test between one and three using pedaling and throttle, combination of both. And you got to see kind of like, one thing that I can stand out to me is how torquey it is kind of off the line just right away. It's got a little bit of torque to it and it's like easily to spin this thing around fast. 
So let's go ahead, let's go back to my final thoughts now. Okay, everybody, there's the full-on specs, walkthrough, and ride test. Let me go over my final thoughts on this e-bike here. So, first off, it's a very affordable option for anyone that wants a nice little step-through e-bike. One thing that I'd found was the, the seat to the relations to the pedals is short between this area here you're gonna have to kind of like so for me to be full extension on the pedals i go higher with the seat but this puts the seat in a higher position and i think that's because of the way this frame's made but you know what you get used to it i think it's totally fine it rides very comfortable has a smooth ride it's super adjustable so you can adjust the handlebars up and down twist them in and out bring the seat up and down very impressive on how much adjustability to it it had a full torque it has nice torque torque on the bottom and it has it hits 20 miles per hour very fast which is for a lot of people i have some e-bikes that can do almost 50 so on a trail i would not recommend that i think 20 is about where you want to be battery capacity on this thing it did seem to stay between around about 20 to 35 miles on my testing going back and forth riding on the trails i did do some light duty off-road and on-road it's definitely made more for pavement trails and very light duty gravel roads don't think you're going to take this and do some stump jumping and over rocks and stumps and roots and all that it is not designed for that this is just a spring-loaded shock and just a seat loading shock which works fine for just regular just kind of like around the bike trails and small little gravel roads i was very impressed with that fold it up you could put it inside of a dorm you can put it in the back of a car very easy to kind of move around not the lightest thing but you can take the battery out and move it around now if it had an installed battery it'd be a little harder to do that but because you can take that battery off you can lose about 10 to 15 pounds of battery and then it makes it a little easier to move around overall i've been very impressed with this bike and i highly recommend it for anyone that's just looking for something affordable to kind of get out on the bike trails every now and then and just have a good time so yeah there it is everybody that's all i got on the the hitway bk6 see you on the next video